Hey, back again. Um, I'm doing another video about parents who say that they're always right, or this whole saying with the parents are always right, you know, and you're supposed to, um, honor thy, honor thy parent, honor thy mother and thy father, or thy days will be shortened, okay? To be biblical, um, no offense, or whatever. But, my personal thing is this. This is my personal opinion, and I know some people ain't gonna like it, but I don't care, whatever. Um, I personally feel like this. Your parents are not always right. Okay? I'm gonna tell you why. Because if your parents was always right all the fucking time, why the hell do they ha do they go through or went through the same shit that you went through or probably worse? And what gets me is, with parents, they'll say, oh, I want my child to grow up and succeed and to be better than what I want them to be and stuff like that. And that's all good. That's all gravy and stuff like that. But what gets me is when the, your child is doing something to help and better themselves, you get upset or you don't like it. And then you, then it's like as if you're setting this goal of what your child should be. But you don't know what your child is supposed to be. You don't have that damn right to even say that. Only person that knows what... What destiny your child has is God. That's it. Whatever God has for you is for you. Whatever God has for your child is for them. So why the fuck get mad? Why the fuck get upset? And what gets me is when chill, when parents sit up there and say, well, the child is wrong and stuff like that. Okay, the child wrong, get on to him or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But a prime good example of this is when your child comes out of the closet and tells you that they're gay. And I don't know about child cupcakes, but when you're in the fucking South, especially where I am or whatever, it's a whole bunch of BS that goes with it. That's why so many kids around here are in the closet. That's why so many of them don't say the shit that they want to say. They don't do what they want to do because they know that if they come out, their parents are not going to like them. They're not going to love them. They're going to disobey, you know, them and they're not going to have anything else to do with them, period. That could be one stanza, or it could be another stanza where the parent does accept them and does want to be with them and does embrace them, and that's a good thing. But what gets me is when you feel like your child is supposed to, like for me, okay, my parents had a, had a whole itinerary for me. You're supposed to go to college. You're supposed to have kids. You're supposed to be with a woman. You're supposed to be the man that... That God sets you out to be. Okay, so now because I'm completely opposite of that, that makes me less of a person. Really. I know so many people that come on my fucking channel that tell me that. And so many people that email me. So many people that I talk to that I encourage on a fucking daily basis. And for you parents, you are so motherfucking selfish. You wrong for doing that. That's still your child at the end of the motherfucking day. That's still your flesh and your blood. And for you to sit up there and to say, they're, your, they're no longer your child? Really? They're no longer your child. This person was sit down. They was conceived in your womb, woman, and for nine months. You know what I'm saying? You love this child. Before, they was doing all these good things, all these great things. That did not make them less of a person. But now all of a sudden, because they came out of the closet, they're no longer your child. So you tell me what's right and what's wrong. And see, oh, we ain't going to go on to you. Uh-huh. Because most parents, y'all sit up there and y'all sit up there try to put somebody down because they're not who you set out, who who they, who they, y'all set out for your children to be or whatever. But then still, you're not sitting up there telling your kids what you've been doing. Oh no, you ain't telling your your children. Oh, I got two other children from my dog from you know other women or whatever. Plus my own regular, you know, family and my own my own wife and children and stuff like that. Oh, and I ain't gonna say nothing about oh I was sleeping with this other man the next day or whatever, knowing that I got a husband back at home. Or I was a town slut. Oh, I, that that's just bad. Uh huh. But I want my children to go up and be better than me. And oh no, I don't want my children to be what they what God set them out to be. I want you to do what I want you to do. Ch parents, you cannot make that choice for your kids. You have to love your children unconditionally. And so many of you say, "Oh, I do love my ch my child my child unconditionally, but what they doing is wrong." What they okay? You act like you ain't never done nothing wrong before in your life. Really? 
You act like you ain't got no skeletons in your clo your closet. See, you can't go sweeping under somebody else's carpet if you ain't swept, swept under yours. Really? Really? I'm going to need you parents to check up on that. That's why so many kids come to me. That's why so many of them email me. So many of them write me because they feel like y'all are not giving them the love that they're supposed to be giving. So guess what? I will be their parent. Guess what? I will be their light at the end of the tunnel because I want to. And if you feel like I'm a selfish bitch, then I don't give a damn. I don't. Because somebody's life is really important to me. So many kids talk about how they want to kill themselves. They're under stress. They feel like they have to fit in and do what you parents say that they're supposed to do because that's what the family's supposed to do. For example, I was speaking to a young lady, very bright, beautiful, amazing girl. The girl is 13 years old, already want talking about college, already talking about what she want to do. But the thing is, with me, she wants to do what her parents is telling her to do. Oh, well, my parents is a nurse, and I have to go to nursing school, and I have to, you know, do this. And I said, well, is that something that you want to do? Well, you know, I'm doing it because my parents say so, but, you know, I really want to be a rapper and singer. Well, do what you want to do. Well, I don't know if I could do that. Yes, you can. You can do anything you set your mind out to be. And because you know what? Sometimes you have to break away from your family and do what you're supposed to do to make you a better person in order, to, in order for your family to see what it is that makes you beautiful. Sometimes you have to do that. I had to step out of the box and be me. I am in a conservative ass town where people don't like what the fuck I do. They don't like what I represent. But guess what, baby? I'm going to represent my gay pride to the fullest. And any bitch that don't like it, sit on it and fucking rotate. That's how I feel about it. Because you know what? Because at the end of the day, sweetie, I have more love and more, many more cupcakes that's going to come to me because they know, they know that I love them unconditionally. I don't judge nobody. I don't do nobody no harm. It's when you do me harm and do something that people that I care about, that's when I speak up. That's when I say some shit that you won't like. So parents, if you're going to be there for your kids, be there for them unconditionally. Love them past their pain. Be there for them. Encourage them. Uplift them. Make them be better people than they are supposed to be. And if there are, if there are better people that they are supposed to be, continue to support them. Continue to be there for them. Do not go astray from your kids. Because regardless of what your kids are telling you, they still look up to you. And when they don't, when you, when you turn your back on your kids, that's when they go out and they do stuff that they ain't supposed to do. That's when your child, your girl go out and get pregnant and sleep with anybody. That's when your son go out and he go and be a pimp and a hoe and a, a low down fatherless, fatherless boy to whomever. That's when your child goes astray. And like I said, if y'all don't want to be that to your kids, I will be that light to your kids. I will be the light to the end of the tunnel because my whole purpose on earth is to be a light to somebody in times of need and darkness. I want to be a legacy. I want to live on. I want to be somebody that people will remember in a positive light. And if I had to be that, then I would be that. My sexuality does not determine my personality, baby. I have more personality than you guys think. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, to the parents and stuff like that, y'all really need, seriously, truthfully, and honestly, all this, this, y'all need to sit down, talk, whatever, and talk civil, civilizedly, you know, because kids nowadays are doing things that they're not supposed to do because they're not getting the guidance from home or the love that they're supposed to be getting at home. Or, they don't have it. So they come to people like me. That's going to give it to them. And I'm going to give it to them. I am. If you're there or not, I'm going to give it to them. Because they look up to me and I look up to them. And I'd be damned if I'm going to let you do that. Now, I might be wrong for saying that. And I, if I am, Lord, forgive me. But I, it's a person's life. It's somebody's life that looks up to me. And I'd be damned if I turn my back on them. That'll make me worse than you. I ain't doing that. So without that being said, Cupcakes, you know I love you. Parents, get on it. 
But y'all know I love y'all. Bye.